On this, the third in our series on the Cayman Islands Further Education Center, also known as SIFIC, we take a look at the Advanced Placement or AP program. The Ministry of Education started the program in September 2010 with the goal of building bridges to further education and the world of work for high school graduates. The wonderful opportunity that SIFIC has pre presented isn't just for the country to focus on technical and vocational studies. It's also added um, a third product to our offerings for high-end academic qualifications. In the past, students had the opportunity to either go to UCCI or SIP A-levels. This year we've also introduced the Advanced Placement or AP program. The wonderful thing about AP is, is that it's internationally accepted. It's accepted in universities in over 65 countries. And, and it's a highly regarded international qualification. It's so much so that Oxford and Cambridge in the United Kingdom accepts AP credits. And so that addition for us is going to present a wonderful opportunity for our most able students. The Advanced Placement Program offers several subject choices. While English and math are mandatory, psychology, human geography, studio art, Spanish, physics, and biology are all optional. At the moment, the young people go through a six period day, but not every day would they have a period where they have to go to class. It depends on the number of subjects they have opted for. We have students who have opted for three to five subjects. Students select the AP program for different reasons. Some were recommended by their teachers, but others were attracted by the college credits and the promise of a challenge. I came and I found out that I got enough passes because AP was my first choice. That was like no questions were asked. That was what I wanted to do because I wanted to challenge myself, but I didn't feel I was ready to go off to college in the States. So I definitely think AP was the right choice just because I could stay here but I could do a higher level of education as well. I definitely was expecting it to be challenging but it's a lot more challenging than I thought because even when you do know what you're doing it's so much work that you really have to learn how to organize yourself and use your time wisely to get everything done. The main focus of the program is college preparation. It's a difference between uh, CXC or GCSE um, exams and they are in college even though they're in high school and I think that whole concept is now finally being um, taken on board wholeheartedly. The whole concept of we should be providing more opportunities for our young people in particular those who go off to university in North America. I think because they are in a high school setting they are able to get some additional help, whether it's learning to manage time, um, study skills. However, the prerequisites are being established. So going off to university should not be that stressful. Undertaking the AP program gives them a little window into what's to come. I think the AP program is a good step forward into the future. As students, I think we've all learned to become, become committed and disciplined. And we all have supportive teachers and they all encourage us to do our best. Our kids are quite determined. Those that we have at the AP program um, will go on and will do better and great things for this country. I'm quite sure of that. Be sure to join us next time when we'll take a look at some of the other subject areas offered at the Cayman Islands Further Education Center. For more on the Year 12 program, visit education.gov.ky.